What it really takes to become rich. Things you have to give up and do. Do you want to be rich? If you answered yes, then you need to watch this whole video. Did you know that 80% of your actions will determine whether you will be successful or not? This tells us that our success is based on what we do, and what we do is based on the decisions we make. So, if you want to speed up the journey to wealth, you will have to give up some and adopt the following 10 habits. Do this for a year and come back to thank us in the comments section. I can't wait to share this with you. So, let's begin, shall we? We'll start off with 6 things that you should stop doing, and 6 things you should start doing immediately. Before we begin though, give this video a big thumbs up for that YouTube algorithm. It really helps a lot. And if you're new to the channel, welcome and consider subscribing if you enjoy our content. Now, let's get into it. 12. Stop Impulse Buying But what exactly is impulse buying? This is simply the unplanned purchase of goods and services that you don't need. And by need, I mean without them, you can comfortably survive. First things first, before we even get into this, do you have a plan for the things you want to buy? Do you know the items you buy frequently? That is, every other month or week. Do you know how much your weekly gas expenses cost? If not, you should start by drafting a list of your expenses. Start the next month by writing down everything you spend money on. From there, you will identify a trend or pattern. Once you've gathered all this information, draft a master finance plan. This will include a list of recurrent expenses and any other costs you have to incur. Once you do this, you can stop purchasing irrelevant items that are not on your to-buy list. Be disciplined with every single dollar you have and only spend it when you must. 11. Stop multitasking You only have one brain, two hands, and two feet. So why are you trying to do 10 things at the same time? You want to launch your business. You're working three jobs. You have a side hustle freelancing gig and you're raising two toddlers. Let's be honest, if this is your lifestyle, then it's only a matter of time before it all crumbles down. Handle one important project at a time. If you have multiple things going on, you won't have the capacity to give each one of them your level best. Well, unless you're a robot. Evaluate your daily to-do lists, your jobs, and all other projects that require an ample amount of time and energy. Cut off tasks that require too much effort and have the lowest returns. 10. Stop settling for less Don't take that job if you're aware your employer is underpaying you. If you have the skills and know-how, settle for what you're worth. This should apply to all aspects of your life. Never settle for less than what you're worth. Don't waste too much time on things or projects that won't bear fruits. For example, if you're working in a company that doesn't promote its employees often, so you've been stuck in the same role for years, you better pack your bags and leave immediately. Be aware of unhealthy relationships where you are being used. Cut ties with people who don't value you. When you start appreciating yourself, you will create a mindset of being capable of achieving things. And slowly by slowly, you will build your wealth. It may sound like the dumbest item on our list, but try this for a year and see where you'll be. Many millionaires believe that true wealth starts from the inside. When you stop settling for less, you will only leave room for the best. 9. Stop hanging out with the wrong company Here's the reality. The habits of your friends rub off on you. So, if you want to be successful, hang around successful people. Doesn't matter how much you love your peers, if they aren't progressive, you'll be left there with them. Ever wondered why the rich only have rich friends? It's not that they're classist. The main reason is that they only have things in common with other rich people. They share similar habits, so it's easier to remain friends with other rich people. Find a tribe of people that work hard, invest money consistently, learn a lot, and attend educative seminars and workshops. Don't waste your time with people who will only move you backwards. This is the sad reality. 8. Stop giving up This is possibly one of the hardest things you have to stop doing. Let's say you just lost your job, or even your business just went bankrupt. What do you do? It's easier to just give up and quit on life, right? The harder alternative would be to figure out a sustainable solution for your situation. However, it's important to always remember that every time you give up, you have to start all over again. By giving up on your business venture, you'll have to start a whole new business all over again. And chances are, you will still face similar challenges. The best way to handle a difficult situation is to find a solution. If your company is failing, identify the reasons why, then research on possible solutions. If you've just lost your job, 
find out why you were laid off. If the reasons for being laid off are within your control, then you likely need to change some aspects about your work ethic. Otherwise, the same thing will happen in your next job. Never let emotions take over your actions. Instead, let rational and critical thinking determine your next steps. 7. Stop being lazy Many poor people are in a financial status they aren't happy with because they're lazy. Business Insider states that 72% of the self-made millionaires made it through hard work. So it's not just by sheer luck that they built their empires, but through their efforts. The average millionaire wakes up at 4.30 a.m. every day, works out, and has a routine every other day. What's your routine? Would you say you wake up early? Aside from your work routine, do you have any other routines? If not, start today. Create a daily outline of things to do right from the moment you wake up to when you sleep. You'll realize you probably have a lot of time wasted in between. 6. Start researching various opportunities Always research and read. Find out what's happening in the economy and stay updated with business news. By doing this, you'll be able to find new opportunities to grow. Also, read books as much as you can. The average millionaire reads about four books every month. And chances are you've probably heard this before, but do you really practice this? If you don't, start right away. Please note, we aren't talking about fiction books, but self-development instructional books written by industry experts. Subscribe to channels like this that will not only entertain you, but also help you grow. After all, they do say, feed your brain and your pockets will grow. 5. Start diversifying your investments Remember the saying that you should never put all your eggs in one basket? Well, apply this in your life. Have a diversified portfolio of investments. You don't have to earn $10,000 a month to start investing. Start by saving bits of any money you make and invest in any good opportunity you get. Remember we mentioned that you should always research and read a lot? Now here's where you'll apply the knowledge you learned. Before you have enough monetary assets to hire an experienced financial advisor, you have to do the work yourself. As you invest, remember, never put all your eggs in one basket. 4. Start attending masterclasses Aside from reading, attend masterclasses. Today, with the power of the internet, you can literally attend classes from anywhere in the world within your comfort zone. These classes could help you upgrade your skills to get a better paying job. These classes could also educate you on managing finances or investing, which could elevate your financial status. You could also learn a new skill that you can offer in the market. The opportunities with learning are endless. Stay hungry for information. 3. Start asking for help If you need help, don't shy away from asking. Whether you need help in getting another job or financing for your business or whatever it is, just ask. Someone probably knows someone who knows someone whose company is hiring. Or they could have money to invest in your business idea. If you're a genuine person with good relationships with people, then it won't be hard to get the assistance you need. For most people who have built million and billion dollar companies, they all had to ask for help at some point. Understand that you can't do it all by yourself. Asking for help isn't degrading as society tries to make it. Set that ego aside and ask around for people to crowdfund your business. 2. Have a plan Sometimes, plans don't work. And sometimes, they do. They say that you'll probably accomplish 60% of what you write down. So why not start today? Write down your intentions, your life goals, and what you want to achieve. As you write this, be as realistic as possible. It's not practical to have a goal that says, I want a $10 million home in the next two years, and you only have $1,000 in the bank. See where I'm going with this? It's not entirely impossible, and there's nothing wrong with dreaming big, but try to be reasonable as you draft the list. Just as in business, ensure your goals are smart. This means they should be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. 1. Start branding yourself. How do you want people to perceive you? When people look at you, what do you want them to think? When you walk into a room, what do you want people to see? Build your brand through how you dress, how you talk, the people you associate with, and even what you post on social media. Be a credible person with integrity, and opportunities will flock your way. As you build your brand, be as authentic as possible. Don't copy other people, and try to stay true to yourself. There are a lot of untapped opportunities in branding. When people know what you're all about, it will be easier to sell merchandise, services, or courses online, if that's the route you want to take. You'll be invited as a guest speaker in different forums. 
you can slowly grow as a public figure, and the opportunities from there will be endless. It will only be a matter of time before you are a millionaire. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I bet you learned a few things about how you can grow your wealth and be rich. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones so they can grow with you. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do. Also, if you have a particular idea you'd like us to make a video on, comment down below. We love helping you guys out. With that said, have a great day you guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.